Good evening, everyone. Welcome to week nine of this tutorial session. So again, like last weeks, we will be discussing uh, questions from previous iterations of the course and our topic for discussion for today will be uh, generating functions. So I'll start by sharing my screen. All right, I hope you can see the screen. Uh, so let's get started. So coming to the first question. So there are three boxes of cold drinks on a shop counter. The first box has two bottles of Mountain Dew. The second box has two bottles of Thumbs Up. And the last box has three bottles of Coca-Cola. In how many ways can I pick four bottles of cold drinks from these boxes. So let us uh, visualize them. Yeah. So you have uh, two bottles of Mountain Dew. Next is two bottles of um, And finally, you have three bottles of Coca Cola. Now, in how many ways one can pick four bottles of cold drinks from these three boxes? So there are a total of seven bottles, and you will have to pick four. So now there are this, these green or the Mountain Dew bottles are identical the thumbs up bottles are identical and the uh, coca cola bottles are also identical so how to solve this problem so we'll use the concept of generating functions so uh, in how many ways let me write in how many ways can we uh, one uh, or let's say rather uh, zero bottles of let's say Mountain Dew. So you have two bottles of Mountain Dew, two identical. And in how many ways can you pick uh, zero bottles of Mountain Dew? What do you think it will be? So you just don't pick anything. So there is only one way. Same goes for one bottle. So one bottle of Mountain Dew, you can pick in one way only because you might say that you can pick in two ways because there are two bottles, but they are identical. So effectively you are picking it in only one way and similarly for two bottles, also one way. So the uh, resultant generating function for picking the Mountain Dew bottle would be one plus X plus x square. Similarly, <clears throat> the generating function for uh, thumbs up would be 1 plus x plus x square. And the generating function for Coca-Cola would be 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube. Why cube? Because there are three bottles of Coca-Cola. So now in this we will have to find a coefficient of x to the power 4 because we will have to pick up 4 bottles. So the coefficient of 4 will give us in number of ways 4 bottles of cold drinks can be picked up. So now how to solve this product? <clears throat> So you have three functions, three polynomials, and you have to find the product. So one way is this. So you add uh, dummy terms to the series. So uh, if I add something like this, so consider the series like 
this. So you have one plus x plus x squared, but you keep on extending the series. Let us see. It will have x cube, x four, and infinitely many series. Next, you have uh, one plus x plus x square, and then you again uh, add higher order terms to it. So you have, let's say, x cube, x four, and so on. And finally, for the last one also, you have one plus x plus x square plus x cube. Plus, now you add higher order terms. So let us. So it is x4, x5, and so on. So all of these equate to 1 over 1 minus x. All of them. So basically, it would be the product of. <clears throat> so the product. If I let's say right, it has M for Mountain Dew, for T for thumbs up, and C for Coca Cola. So we can write the generating functions like this M into T into C is equal to 1 by 1 over <coughs> X cubed. And we know how to solve it. But there is a problem with this formulation, which we cannot use for this specific problem. Is this so? Let me put the actual. So this much is the actual generating function. The portion in the box is the actual generating function and the remainders are we have added extensions to make it an in infinite sequence and that makes our product easy but uh, can we extend it to for an infinite case because we we have been asked to find the product of x to the coefficient of x to the power 4 so now there is a problem that will arise if we considered the infinite sequence. Can anyone tell me what problem will arise if we just considered the infinite sequence instead of just the finite polynomials? Sir, I think in uh, coefficient of x key power 4 from the uh, Mountain Dew box, x keep, uh, three bottles picked and uh, uh, one bottle from any of the two, which, which is not valid because uh, we can pick maximum two bottles of Mountain Dew. That is also counted. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So that is the problem. So if I pick, let's say, x to the power three from here and x to the power. Uh, sorry. So if I pick x from the thumbs up portion and if I pick uh, one from Coca-Cola, that is I'm not picking anything from the Coca-Cola box. We we are still counting. Uh, this will also feature in the product of this uh, infinite sequence, but that is actually not feasible because there are only two boxes, two bottles of Mountain Dew present. So we cannot use the infinite sequence. So how to in so the trick is that this we when can we use that infinite sequence and when can we do not use the infinite? So I'll write it down. So if we want, so, so let me write it down. So we want to find coefficient of x to the power r. So let's say we want to find coefficient of x to the power r. If r is less than equal to the minimum among the 
powers of minimum minimum of the maximum powers of generating function so there are three generating function and the maximum powers from each so in case of here the maximum generating uh, the power of the generating function is 2 next for the thumbs up is 2 and for the coca cola it's 3 and the minimum of them is 2 so if r were le less than equal to 2 that is 2 in this problem then we can use generating function then we can use infinite sequence multiplication because the higher order terms will not affect the powers of x to the power 4 so the x to the power uh, x to the power r so if we want to let's say in this problem instead of x to the power 4 we were to find the coefficient of x to the power 2 or x to the power 1 we could have used this infinite sequence but if it is uh, more than the minimum of the powers um, minimum of the maximum powers then that is if it's more than two then we cannot use because uh, like akanksha pointed there will be cases where we are counting uh, uh, counting patterns that are actually not feasible so how to do so this is a simple uh, product of three polynomials you could perhaps do it by hand but there i want to discuss a technique that is there to help you do this so i'll show you so just so let me write it down so you have three polynomials again i'll i'll write it write them down so you have uh, one plus x plus x square then you have one plus x plus x square and then you have one plus x plus x square plus x cube now how to find the product of this so we want to find the coefficients of the product so let us call uh, this p let's say so how to do it so uh, let us consider first two polynomials at a time so you have given two polynomials at a time so what you, the trick is like to write it down like this so you uh, so you consider the bigger polynomial so that is the red one so that has powers up to x to the power 3 and for the smaller one you just add one dummy variable that is uh, 0 into x to the power so this product can simply be written in form of a matrix like this so you have 1 x x square x cube you have 1 1 1 0 this gives you a blue polynomial and the red polynomial can be written like this 1 1 1 1 and you have again the 1x x square x cube thing. So basically, we'll have to focus on this matrix multiplication that we get from inside. So this matrix would basically be by uh, rewrite this, it would be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, and lastly it is 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So this is now to find the powers of it. What we'll consider is the diagonal sum. So we'll write it like this. So we'll draw diagonals like this. So this. So this would become, so the coefficients would be like this. So you have one that comes from the first, from the second diagonal you have two, from the third diagonal you have three, 
from the fourth you have again three from the fifth you have two and then one and then zero so this becomes your one plus two x plus three x squared plus three x cubed plus two x to the power four plus one x to the power five plus zero so this is basically and this is zero x to the power six so since there is no x to the power three in the blue uh, term that's why there is zero x to the power six that comes so this gives you the product of this uh, blue polynomial and the red polynomial so now you have uh, this polynomial so now we can in include uh, now we can extend this to uh, the first one. So we have uh, the first one is this one plus x plus x squared. Again, we'll increase uh, the terms for uh, the green side. So we'll basically it would be a matrix multiplication of this. So we'll consider up to x to the power five. So it's one, one, one and 0, 0, 0, that is 3. So we are considering x 0x cubed plus 0x to the power 4 and 0x to the power 5. And similarly, for this, we are considering 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. So we have 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1. So this is your uh, x to the power uh, 5. So now if we expand this multiplication, so what will come? So this is very simple. So it would be something like this. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Then again, it will repeat 3, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, then all zeros. And for this, what we'll have to do, we'll have to find the diagonal sum. So this diagonal is 1. Next diagonal is 3. Then Six, then eight. This diagonal is also eight. This diagonal is six. This is three. And this is one. And the rest are zero. So our polynomial is basically you will have to write it like one. So the uh, it, it here. So that is gives us one, three, six, eight, eight, six, three, one. And this would be one plus three x plus six x squared plus eight x cube plus 8x4 plus 6x5 plus 3x to the power 6 plus 1x to the power 7. So that that is how you multiply the polynomial. And we are being asked to find the coefficient of x to the power 4. So this is the coefficient of x to the power 4, that is 8. So that gives you the correct answer for this question is option b that is 8. I hope uh, this is clear to you like um, this mu matrix multiplication. So you can very easily write a computer code that can actually give you find this uh, matrix and compute the sum of the diagonals and that would be your coefficient. You need not find the products in uh, elaborate way. So this is just a uh, technique in how you can find the coefficients 
of a polynomial multiplication. Okay, so let us move on to the next question. So coming to the next question, we have uh, Ron, John, Tom, and Sam go to eat pastries. Since they are health conscious, they set a limit to the maximum number of pastries they will eat before entering the bakery. Ron says he will eat three pastries at most. John and Tom will eat four pastries each at max. Sam will say he will eat one pastry at max. In how many ways can they get pastries from the bakery if the bakery has only 10 pastries left and they plan to plan on buying all of them. So assume all the pastries are of same type. So again, so we'll have to write the generating function. So for Ron, the generating function. So Ron, for Ron, he says that he will need three at most. So the generating function is one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. Now we are able to write it like this because all the pastries are identical. And so since they are identical, uh, two pastries or three pastries or in any number of pastries can be picked only in one way. Otherwise, if they were different, we'll have to adjust the coefficients in the generating function as well. For John, it is John and Tom both. It is uh, they will eat four. So one plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x four. And this is uh, since they are two. Th this generating function is the same for both John and Tom. And for Sam, it is just one. So one plus x. So again, the so we'll have to find find. Coefficient of x to the power 10 because uh, there are 10 pastries and uh, there are uh, four generating 10 pastries in uh, the product 1 plus 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 plus x cube plus x to the power four whole square because there are two of them and one plus x. Now, can anyone tell me, can we use the infinite sequence trick over here or we'll have to find it using the matrix multiplication? So we'll have to find the product coefficient of x to the power 10. So can we x? Consider each of these generating functions as in finite sequences and find the product and then get the coefficient or we'll have to uh, do it by the matrix multiplication to get the coefficients. What do you think? Anyone? Sir, I think uh, we cannot uh, use the infinite uh, series one. Right, because here the minimum power is one. In the SAMS generating function, the minimum power is one. So, and we'll have to go to x to the power 10. So we, we can only find up to x to the power one correctly with the infinite sequence. For other cases, we cannot uh, do that. So we'll have to use the matrix multiplication. So I have discussed the matrix multiplication to you in the previous questions. I am not going to repeat it over here because it's just uh, the same. You'll have to. It's there is nothing complicated in that. And if you do, it, you will find that uh, it is the answer is nine for the power of x to the power ten. So the right answer for this question is option D nine. All right, so I'll move on to the next question. So which of the following closed form represents the sequence 
वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो सो वट डज दिस सीक्वेंस मीन इट मीन्स दिस दिस पॉलिनोम सो यू हैव वन प्लस जीरो एक्स प्लस वन एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस जीरो एक्स क्यूब प्लस वन एक्स फोर प्लस जीरो एक्स फाइव एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज वट दे मेन्ट बाई द सीक्वेंस वन जीरो वन जीरो सो दीज आर द नंबर्स वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो now how so which of the following closed form represents this sequence so which of these four options on expanding will give us this uh, sequence so now what we know already is this sequence that 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube this sequence is 1 1 1 and so on now uh, this is basically the sum of the gp series so this is 1 minus sorry x 1 by 1 minus x so this is the infinite series and it is 1 by 1 minus x where x is actually less than 1 so now if we are given this sequence so can we get this what we are basically looking for is this sequence 1 plus x square plus x is 4 plus x x 6 and so on so the trick is very simple so instead of uh, x i so 1 over 1 minus x gives you 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube so we want just the even power so what i will do is just i put x square in place of x so that will basically give me x square x 4 x 6 and so on so this is nothing but 1 0 1 0 1 and so on so the right answer for this question is option d a pretty straight forward question so i don't think anyone will have a doubt in this question okay coming to the next question so what is the uh, sequence generated by close from 2 over 1 minus x square so if you look at the previous question so 1 minus x square generates this sequence 1 0 1 0 1 0 so what does 2 times 1 minus x square generate it would what do you think what is the answer can anyone take Sir, a a right so when we are multiplying any uh, sequence by a constant the constant the every element in the sequence get multiplied by that constant so it was 1 0 1 0 now you multiply the whole sequence by 2 so it becomes 2 0 2 0 2 0 so there is uh, nothing to discuss over here so we'll move on to the next question so uh, what would be the coefficient of x to the power 14 in 1 by uh, 1 over 1 minus x to the power 5 So again, this is a pretty simple question. So this is basically we'll have to write it in a uh, different fashion. So we'll this is one minus x to the power of minus five, and we know that one minus x to the power minus n would basically mean n. Plus r minus one by r, and this this is sum. This is an infinite sum. So from zero to infinity, x to the power r. So basically, they are asking us what is when r is fourteen. R n in this problem is five, and r is fourteen. so the coefficient of x to the power 14 is basically this so this is n is 5 plus 14 minus 1 over 14 so that is that will become 18 choose 14 so uh, this is 
you can simplify it and write as 18 choose 4 because 18 minus 14 is 4. So these are the same thing and you can compute it. You will find that the right answer is this 3060 option D. If you calculate it, you will find uh, this is the answer. So that is question number five. We'll move on to the next question. OK, so what will be the coefficient of X to the power 15 in the product of this uh, term? So you have a denominator and a uh, numerator and with the number two. So whatever we get from here, the product coefficient of X to the power 15, we'll have to multiply with this number two. So let us look at this problem. So we have this one plus X square whole q by one minus x whole six. Now this numerator, if we recall, so one plus x to the power q is basically one plus. Uh, this is from Pascal's triangle. You can easily get this pattern one three three one. So now for x. In place of x, there is x square. So this would be 1 plus 3x square plus 3x4 and x6. And 1 minus x. And this would be 1 minus x to the power minus 6. So this would be 1 plus 3 plus square x4 x6 and this can be written as r equal to 0 to infinity r plus 5 over r and x to the power r now they are asking us to find coefficient of x to the power 15 into 2 so this is let us call it c so c is basically two times we have something. So if we cho choose the first one, so we are looking at r equal to 15. So r equal to when we put r equal to 15, we have 20 choose uh, 15. Then if we are considering the second element that is x to the power 2, so then we'll have to consider r as 13. So we'll have 18 over 13. And if we choose the third one, we'll have to consider uh, as uh, 11 because 4, 15 minus uh, 4 is 11. So we'll choose uh, R as 11. So it would be 16, 11. And for the final one, if x to the power 6 we are considering on the left hand side so for r we'll have to consider 9 so it would be 9 plus 5 14 over 9 so this is your actual coefficient so you can actually for simplification you can rewrite all of them can be written as 20 choose 5 18 choose 5 16 choose 5 and 14 choose 5 because all of them this uh, will add up to the new so the uh, difference between the first element in the the top element and the bottom element is 5 because you have r plus 5 over r so uh, we can just substitute the difference and it would uh, make it easier to calculate so if you uh, calculate this, this would turn out to be 1, 1, 2, 6, 2, 8. So you can use calculator and find out. So this would be option C. So uh, option C is the right answer for this question. OK, now come to question number seven. How shall we modify the generating function 1 minus x so that we can add 
R zeros at the front of the sequence it generates. So first let us look at the sequence generated by one over one minus X. As we know that it will be one plus X plus X squared and so on. So this sequence is one, 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 one and so on. Now they are asking us, uh, we want to add R zeros at the front of the sequence. So, uh, which means that if I let's say if we add uh, uh, three zeros at front, so the sequence looks like this zero, 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 and then it starts one, 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 one. So, how can we generate this? So, basically, this means what? This means we have the sequence one plus zero x plus zero x square plus x cube x four and so on. So can anyone take a guess of how we can generate uh, this uh, polynomial with r zeros at the front? What do you think? What should we do? Sorry, this would also be zero. Yeah. Anyone? How can we add? Uh, how can we generate a polynomial like this? So let's say for R. So for our example, we have let's say R is three and we want to add three zeros at front. So how can we modify this? Uh, expression one by one minus over one over one minus x so that it gives us this sequence x3 plus x4 and so on so it starts from x3 x4 and it continues till infinity what do we have to do so multiply by x cube right so we just basically shift the sequence so so here r was three so if i do like this so this is basically like x3 x4 x5 and so on so we just pull out the x3 common and again what we get is this simple looking sequence which we are all familiar with so this is x cube and this is this term within the bracket is 1 over 1 minus x so that gives you uh, 1 so it's we have added uh, three zeros at the front by multiplying by x3 so to add r zeros at the front what we'll have to do multiply the generating function by x r so it's as simple as that so option d is the right answer for this question All right, we'll move on to the next question. So now what is the closed form generating function for the sequence one, two, three, four? So th there is an error in this. So it is not a closed sequence, so it goes on. So basically they are asking us what is the closed form for this sequence? One, two, three, four, five, and so on. Basically the natural numbers. So Again, we'll always start with what is familiar to us. So we have one plus X plus X squared plus X cube plus X four. And let's say I write like this. So we all know that this is equal to one minus X. If I take derivative on the left hand side, so DDX of this one plus X plus x square and so on. And I take the derivative of one over one minus x. So on the left hand side, we get one plus two x plus three x square plus four x cube and so on. And on the right hand side, we have one by one minus x whole square if you take the derivative so 
this is how you get it and if you look at this sequence so you have one two three four so this is basically the sequence that we are looking for so the right answer is this one over one minus x whole square so just taking the derivative of the simple sequence one over one minus x we arrive at one two three four so option c is the right answer for this question moving on to question number nine so now we have this sequence of one four nine sixteen so this is a little trickier so now okay so we had one minus x squared so that gave us one plus two x plus three x cube sorry three x square plus four x cube and so on so this is from the previous question question eight we get that one over one minus x square can be written like this but if i take the derivative of this ddx of one minus x whole square so what we get is this two plus six uh, six x plus 12 x square and so on so but uh, that is not what we want we want to get 1 4 9 16 so the square root so so what to do is this so we we'll forget the derivative at this stage what we do is we multiply x on both sides 1 minus x whole square if i multiply x would become x plus 2x square plus uh, 3x cube and 4x4 and so on so what this does is that if you recall ddx of x to the power n is this n x to the power n minus one so what it does is basically brings the n from the power to the coefficient so now what we wanted a sequence that already had two but we want to make it two square so we make the power uh, of x as two power of x square as three and power of x is three as four so that we get a, a a uh, square of it so now if i take the derivative of this ddx of x over one minus x whole square what we get is one here the power of two will come in front so we have two square into x here three will come in front so three square into x square here we have four square into x cube and so on so here we get this sequence we have one four nine sixteen so we have one four nine sixteen and so on so this is the sequence that they have asked so basically we we'll have to take the derivative it can be obtained by taking the derivative of the generating function x over one minus x whole square so option a is the right answer for this question so whenever you have been given some pattern so to find the closed form solution you always begin with the simplest one so this the first one is the simple that is one plus x plus x square and so on so that is one over one minus x. and you keep modifying that polynomial and you will get all the other kinds of polynomial uh, that you want so this is one so if i were to ask you something like this this is uh, so this is one four nine so if i asked you to find the sequence like one three five seven so that is basically one plus three x plus five x square plus seven uh, x cube and so on so how are you going to do 
this in 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 that case how, how do you think you will solve this question anyone can anyone take a guess So again, I'll uh, write it down like this. So we have, we know two sequences so far. So this is the famous sequence that we know this is one plus X plus X square and X cube, let's say. And also we know one by minus X whole square. It is one plus two X plus uh, x square plus 4x cube and so on so can anyone take a guess like how we can do how we can get this sequence Anyone? The derivative of uh, the uh, first sequence uh, then uh, added to the second sequence. So first my, means you are talking about this. Yes. Yeah, the and the derivative of the second sequence. So you telling that derivative of first sequence and add it to the second sequence. Yeah. So the derivative of the first sequence is the second sequence itself. So you're telling basically you are to add the second sequence twice. Mm. Yeah, you are close. Just look at this coefficients and think so let us call this s this this sequence that we want to find out and we have uh, these two sequences So uh, I'll uh, write it like this. So let us, if I consider this second one, so one over one minus x square, you have uh, one plus two x plus four. If I multiply x and add it, what would it be? So you have x plus two x square plus three x cubed and so on now if i add these two so you have one plus x over one minus x whole square if i add them what do you get one plus three x plus five x square plus seven x cube and you will get all the patterns like this so it's basically just you multiply the second one with x and add it with the second one so you get this pattern so this is your one three five seven nine and so on i hope that is clear to everyone okay yes sir yeah let us move on to the 
final question. So what is the solution of this sum of uh, integers? Uh, K, we have four integers, K1, K2, uh, K3, K4, and they add up to 19, where they have certain constraint that K1 can take values of between three and six. K2 can take values between one and three, K3 between four and seven, and K4 between five and seven. So basically, this is again that generating function problem. Uh, so what is the generating function for K1? What do you think is the generating function for K1? Can anyone uh, take a guess? Generating function. So generating, generating function for K1. Anyone? Sir, x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6. Right. So it would be x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 because this coefficient, this powers come from the fact that k1 can take values between 3 and 6 and not anything else. So that's how this generating function is created. So similarly, we can get uh, the generating functions for k2 as x1, x2, uh, and x3. For k3, it would be x4, x5, x6, and x7. And for k4, we'll have between 5 and 7. So it will be x5 plus x6 plus x7. So the coefficient, so they add up to 19. So we basically have to find the coefficient of 19 in the expansion of. So if you look that option B gives all the generating functions correctly. So you have x3 to x6, x1 to x3, 4 to 7 and 5 to 7. So in option A, there is a uh, 3 and 6 are missing from the generating function of k1 and uh, 1 and 3 from k2 and so on. So option A cannot be right. And op option C and D, they are looking for coefficients of x to the power 18, whereas the sum should be 19. Therefore, we should look for the coefficient of uh, 19 in this sum. So that's how you get uh, uh, option b is the right answer for this question so we can have discussed all the questions that i had so if anyone have any doubt and they want to discuss something or you want me to repeat a question you can ask Anyone, any doubt? Anything that you have missed while I was discussing? You can. If not, then we can uh, close the session for today and uh, Thank you for attending the tutorial lecture and I wish you all the best for the course. So we'll meet again uh, next week at the same time. So, okay, goodbye everyone. Thank you for attending.